Hey Algebra 2, today we're going to talk about distinguishable permutations. Uh, what are distinguishable permutations? Well, what we learned last time, if I give you the letters um, U-N-T-I-L, until, and if I were to say find all the different ways you can uh, set up these letters, in order doesn't matter, well we had the five different spots. The first spot has five different options, meaning the next has four, then three, then two, then one. So, um, this would give us 20 times 6, which is 120. Or another way, remember we said we can rewrite this as 5 factorial, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That's just the standard permutation. Now, there is a thing called distinguishable permutations. The question is, what do we do with distinguishable permutations? What happens when you have the same letter twice. So if I put U-N-T-I-N, that changes the situation because now we have two N's. Um, so what do we do in that case? So those are called distinguishable permutations when we have the same thing twice. So our first example says, how many distinguishable seven-digit numbers can be formed from the digits, um, oops, there's a little typo there, uh, 600, or 6 million, um, 563,656. Okay. Well, there's seven different numbers, so we would naturally say, okay, seven factorial to rearrange all seven of them. But notice here there are three sixes. Um, there are three sixes. And there's also, there's two fives. Oops. There's two fives. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide this. Um, sorry, there's four sixes. My bad. Four sixes and two fives. So what we're going to do is if there's ever repeated value when we're looking for distinguishable um, permutations, we're going to divide by that number factorial. So there's four sixes. So we're going to divide by four factorial. And here, there's two different fives. So we're going to divide by two factorial. Again, because... Uh, we have repeated numbers, therefore that changes the amount of different options that we have, different amount of permutations. So what we can actually say, another way again is saying 7 factorial is 7 times 6 times 5 times, and we could rewrite 4 all the way down, or we could realize that there's a 4 factorial down here. And then 2 factorial is 2 times 1. So now we could reduce this by marking out the 4s, 2 reduces with 6, that becomes a 3. So we have 7 times 3, which is 21. 21 times 5 is 105. Again, the way we got 4 is because there were 4 6's, and then the 2, there were 2 5's. That's why we have to have these numbers down here, because this uh, makes our options smaller of how many times we could switch around the letters or the numbers, sorry. Okay? So again, seven total digits, so seven factorial on top. There are four sixes, so we put four factorial times two fives, so two factorial here. Again, these are called distinguishable permutations. So therefore, seven times six times five times four and on factorial, four factorial, reduces top and bottom, and then the two factorial, the two, reduces with the six. Okay? Let's go to the next one. Find the number of distinguishable signals that can be formed by displaying 12 flags in a row. Four flags are green, 15 are red, um, two are blue, and one is yellow. Um, let me just do this really quick. Put a little comma there, make this grammatically correct. So there's 12 total flags, so 12 factorial. There are four green ones. That's not supposed to say 15. That doesn't make sense. Um, sorry about that. There's five red, two blue, and one yellow. So now times five factorial. There's two blue, so two factorial, and then one yellow. Technically, you don't have to put one factorial. That's just the number one. So let's break this down. We have 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, times, we have a 5 factorial on bottom, so we could 
stop there. We have our 5 factorial, but then we have 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 for our 4 factorial. And then we have our 2 factorial as well on bottom. Okay? I, apparently I cannot draw a straight line. Let's try that again. That looks somewhat better. Um, okay, so again, 12 factorial, we worked our way down so that we can reduce this 5. Uh, four, divide, 4 goes into 12 3 times. Uh, I could reduce the 3 and the 9, that becomes a 3. The 2 can reduce with the 10, that becomes a 5. And the 2 and the 8 reduce, that becomes a 4. That way we just get, we eliminate our entire denominator. So now when you multiply 3 times 11, times 5, times 3, times 4, times 7, times 6, we end up with 83,160. So there's 83,160 distinguishable signals that can be formed. Okay. Again, total flags, 12 factorial, 12 different ways to set them up. But since 4 are green, we have to divide by those that many factorial. 5 are blue, or red, 2 are blue, 1 is yellow. And therefore, we can just reduce the rest. Okay. And then whatever's remaining on top, multiply, and we get 83,160. And that is how we do distinguishable permutations. Okay? Good luck with that.